What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Bruce. This is What's Popping and in today's video we have the Stitch Mystery Box from Pop Culture. That is right guys, I am so 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 excited to finally be unboxing a pop culture mystery box right here on What's Popping. It has taken a long time for me to finally take the step to buy one of these mystery boxes. I've been watching reviews online on all of the different pop culture mystery boxes for an absolute age. So for those of you who don't know, these pop culture mystery boxes are pretty awesome. And that is because they take a recently released Funko exclusive from the Funko store, they managed to get it under the pop culture brand, put a pop culture sticker on it, and then put it with a few of their pops that maybe aren't moving so well in the warehouse, and send that out as a mystery box. So the way that I see it with these, is you're basically getting a guaranteed value mystery box, because most of the uh, exclusives that they pair the boxes with, or the, the box that they center the, uh, the theme around, are generally pops that are pretty expensive and will, you know, probably gonna go up in value over time. Recently they did a Carnage box with Blacklight Carnage, Wish I had grabbed that, that's now gone through the roof in price. Um, they did a Shiva box from The Walking Dead with the Walking Dead supply drop Shiva, which would have been absolutely amazing to have. And eventually I've just said, you know what, I've got to get one of these boxes. So I contacted Wayne over at Pop Shop Africa. I will leave a link to his store uh, in the description down below. Go check him out guys, it is a brand new store, absolutely awesome. All of his pops that he ships out to you come in pop protectors, which is absolutely amazing because Wayne is of course also the owner of Pop Protectiverse, the sister company to Pop Shop Africa. So all of the pops come in pop protectors, which is absolutely amazing. I said to Wayne, Wayne, can you help me out dude, please? Um, I know you're mainly doing pre-orders for pops. You can put a, a deposit down on pre-orders on his site. So you can put a deposit down when the pop arrives, you pay the rest of it, which is absolutely amazing. Great to see so many sellers here in South Africa making use of that kind of model. I think it's helping all of us as collectors out an absolute ton. Anyways, I said to Wayne, Wayne, can you get this mystery box in for me? He got it in for me, he brought it in. Um, there was a bit of a mix up because unfortunately, pop culture, he had ordered a couple of other things and they had packed it in with the box. So the box had already been opened, but he repackaged it for me, sent it through. So I don't know what's in here, guys. I know Stitch is in here. There is a chance, obviously, at a, a Stitch chase. I have not seen too many of those getting unboxed. I know one person who bought six of these mystery boxes and didn't get a chase. I know somebody else who bought one and got a chase. So, bit of chase roulette. Don't know if we're going to get them or not. Either way, I'm just happy to have one of these stitches coming into my collection. And, uh, yeah, thank you Wayne for bringing these in. Now, everything that comes from Wayne, he always adds these little fizz pops because I think it's a bit of a running inside joke. Pops, obviously. So he sent you some fizz pops with your with your uh, order. A nice little letter that just outlines, you know, we're in COVID times. Please make sure you're safe and go ahead and wipe down all of the boxes to make sure that you know they're all they're all he, they've been sanitized before leaving Pop Shop Africa. But he just says, you know, just be extra careful. We're living in crazy times. Please stay safe out there, everyone. Um, yeah, let's not let's not chat about that. Let's get into the unboxing. And then what was really cool is that uh, Wayne, obviously, like I said, ships all of his stuff in pop protectors. But this coming from pop culture didn't come in pop protectors. And he repackaged this for me, like I said, into a pop culture box from something else he had ordered. But he also sent me three, uh, four, sorry, four pop protectors to take care of all of the pops that are in this package. So thank you, Wayne. That was really thoughtful of you. I really appreciate the, you know, the extra effort, the extra customer support and service. It's just really awesome. And you always get that from Wayne, whether you're ordering from Pop Protectiverse or now Pop Shop Africa, you're guaranteed great customer service. Um, you can chat with him about whatever concerns you might have. And, you know, the stuff comes undamaged. I did order another pop that will quickly show off at the end of this video as well. Uh, it had a bit of box damage, but again, Wayne told me about it. I got a discount on the figure because of the box damage. So, you know, I really can't complain. But guys, let's get into the main point of this video, which is, of course, the Pop Culture Stitch Mystery Box. So, like I said, has been opened before. Um, by Wayne, but I don't know what's in here, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Now, like I said, a really cool box uh, includes a stitch, which is going to be absolutely awesome, but with the pop culture sticker. Uh, possibility of a chase, who knows? I'll be very surprised if we do get a chase, but you never know. Uh, one can be lucky. And the remainder of the box are all exclusive figures from pop culture, so these will be figures that probably haven't moved too well from their lines. I've seen uh, a lot of wacky races pops in these boxes. I've seen lots of mirrors from the Dark Crystal. There's a running joke of Jasmine pops, the Jasmine Diamond series that almost everybody seems to get. Uh, and then they get, they, they've got these Ratfink pops, which I think are absolutely terrible. I really hope we don't have a Ratfink 
pop in here. But anyways, guys, I'm going to open this up. I'm not going to look. I'm just going to pull out one pop at a time. Uh, usually you get the pop boxes you can open from the bottom, but this isn't one of their normal six pop boxes. So let's go ahead and pull out the first pop. I'm just going to feel that it's the right way. I feel a sticker. So it could just be an exclusive or it could be our pop culture sticker. In three, two, one. Oh, awesome guys, we have our stitch. Now, the, obviously this is the reason that I ordered this box. Box condition looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, he looks in a good nick. Very, very happy with the stitch. It's got the pop culture exclusive sticker there. Obviously from this newer wave of stitch pops that they brought out with Lilo with Scrump, Stitch with the ukulele, uh, Stitch just sitting there, there's a Jumbo Stitch as well, and then Lilo with Pudge, who is the little fish that she swims with. So this is absolutely adorable guys. One of my favorite scenes in the movie is Stitch playing the record player. I think it is just such a fun moment and kind of an intro to Elvis Stitch because he's obviously playing Hound Dog by Elvis which is just just absolutely awesome. Um, guys this figure is so so cool. Obviously the Chase version has the mouth open and I see they've even edited the box to actually have the mouth open while you know on the side of the box which they don't usually do for chases but I've seen them starting to do it. They did it with the Joker chase for Batman 1989, they did it with that chase. And I'm seeing it with a few figures now where they're actually changing the box for the chase as well, which I think is quite nice. Uh, I think it's a nice little touch and, you know, Funko is starting to up their game in certain aspects. In, in other areas, you know, they're still a bit lazy, but what are you going to do? That's why we here as YouTubers, to kind of keep Funko on their toes. But love this stitch figure, love the detail on the actual record player uh, that he's got his finger on, on obviously the record playing there. Love the detail that you can actually see the little indentations on the vinyl. If you look at it closely, he's just standing there, he looks adorable, and he's ready for his mouth to be opened to play the music. So absolutely love this stitch, thrilled to have him in the collection. Not that disappointed that I didn't get the chase. Uh, you know, with these kind of mystery boxes, you can't go in with too many expectations. Uh, what I like about them is you can expect to get the pop you really wanted, and then the rest is sort of luck. So let's see what we get next, guys. I'm just going to go ahead, pull it out here. Let's just find the front with the sticker. Okay, I don't feel a sticker. Oh, there. Sorry, I had it the wrong way around. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, guys, we got mirror. So, like I said, we find a lot of mirrors in these boxes, but this is a cool pop to have because my mom actually collects this line. She doesn't have it, and uh, she's going to love having this mirror. This is actually a really beautifully done pop, guys. We, we gave the show a chance. Uh, didn't I couldn't get into it. Couldn't get into the Doctor Store on Netflix, but I do love the pops. I think there are some pops that even if you don't watch the show or the anime or the TV, sh the, the movie, whatever it might be, uh, there's just some really nice pops. And this to me, this Dark Crystal set is one of those sets that has really, really, really cool pops. So she looks amazing. I love her little lantern that she's holding. I think that's absolutely adorable. Would have been cool if they could have made that glow in the dark, especially seeing that this is a 2019 summer convention limited edition. Uh, would have been great if it could, they could have actually made that glow in the dark. I think that would have been a nice feature. But Mira is a really cute pop. I love the little freckles on her face. I think that's a nice detail. Again, I don't know too much about the character. I just think it's a cool pop. And uh, my mom's collecting these dark crystal pops. So, going to be great to add to her collection. Two pops left, guys. Let's get into it. I've pulled the next one out. Let's feel for that sticker because these are, of course, all, I think, either convention or pop culture exclusives. So, let's check it out in three, two, one. Okay, cool guys, we have the Caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. Now, this is a really cool figure. Uh, number 1009 in the, I guess it's the animation line, or maybe the pop movies line, I'm not too sure. I think Disney has its own, I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. Does Disney have its own line? I'll have to go and check off screen, but, you know, you guys let me know now because I'm going to have to go check. But this is a really cool figure, guys. This is obviously the Smoking Caterpillar. I never really got into Alice in Wonderland, um, I personally. I always found it a bit trippy, which it is supposed to be, I guess. But not one of my favorite Disney movies. I'm a massive Disney fan. Just, you know, Alice in Wonderland didn't quite do it for me. But this is a beautiful pop, guys. Um, the detail is absolutely stunning. I love the hand gestures and that each hand is in a bit of a different pose for the caterpillar. Like, he's like, you know what? This is what I have to say. Take it, leave it. You know, it's up to you. I don't really mind. He's absolutely adorable. I love the, the yellow the yellow shoes they've painted on there. The paint lines are pretty clean. I see a little bit of bleeding on one or two of the hands, but that's, uh, you know, that's just Funko. You get the odd pop that's got a bit of bleeding across the lines. It looks like his head is adjustable and movable as well, so that's quite neat. And I love his mouth. There obviously aren't too many Funkos that have defined mouths, 
and I love what they've done with him. I love the expression. They've captured the essence of the character really well from what I've seen of him. And he is from 2021, so this year, Spring Convention over at uh, would have been ECCC. Not sure if they had an ECCC this year with everything going on, but I know they've obviously released Pops or everything. So he is from ECCC 2021 Spring Convention Limited Edition Exclusive. We have the Caterpillar. Guys, I think these have been some pretty great pools. Let me know in the chat, uh, in the comments down below, what you think of these pools. Uh, I've seen some boxes where I've been like, oh, they, they, those pools don't look so great. But uh, definitely can't complain from what we've got today and uh, very, very happy. I think, you know, the value obviously is in the stitch uh, and maybe, I don't know what the others are really worth. We can put the values on the bottom if you guys would like to check them out. But let's check out the final pop, guys. It is none other than one, two, three. Ah, oh, awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, I've seen quite a few of these in the pop culture mystery boxes and I'm absolutely chuffed that we got one. You guys know I'm a massive Harry Potter fan and uh, I had this pop sent to me a little while ago just for a review, so I had to send it back, unfortunately. But it is a, such a beautiful figure and I'm so glad we finally have him in the collection. His glasses are a little bit squiffy there, but I can go ahead and fix those. That won't be too much of an issue. If you guys don't know how to fix Funko Pops and you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to a video up here. I did it ages ago. Check it out, it's how to fix your figures that won't stand and that kind of thing. It was one of my first videos I made, so I'm embarrassingly bad in that video. But it is a useful, there's some useful stuff there. So if you guys want to check it out, please feel free to do so. Feel free to do so. And let's check out Harry out of the box. He is such a cool figure, guys. From the Quidditch World Cup, obviously. We have Ron. Uh, we now have Harry. I don't have the Weasley 3-pack. I think I need to get hold of that at some point. It is a very, very cool 3-pack. And uh, going up in price from what I've seen. I think the South African Potterhead recently did a video where he got that 3-pack. And he got it for a pretty decent price. But really cool. I love all of these Quidditch, uh, Quidditch World Cup themed pops. The only one they haven't made is Hermione. So, SDCC announcements coming up this year. I predict we may get a Hermione at the Quidditch World Cup. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the chats down below what you think some of the SDCC reveals might be for this year. We do obviously have Popalooza as well coming up. So lots of stuff going on. Lots of new Funko releases coming out. And oh, okay. I just, oh, thank you, Wayne. I just checked in the bottom of the box. Obviously, I wasn't looking in the bottom of the box. But here is, uh, Wayne has put a little extra treat in there for me because I know this is not from pop culture. It is the Gryffindor sleeve that you can put over your figures. So let's put Harry in his Gryffindor sleeve and check how he's looking there. Thanks, Wayne. No, that was really thoughtful of you, man. I really appreciate that. Such a, that's that's really cool of you, dude. So yeah, like I said, Wayne obviously unpacked this um, because there were a couple of other things in the original pop culture, pop culture box. And he obviously saw that I got a Harry and he thought, well, you know what goes well with Harry is a Gryffindor sleeve. So let's have a look at him. There he is with his Gryffindor sleeve the Protectiverse uh, Gryffindor sleeve. Obviously, what's great about his soft protectors as well is they fit with these sleeves. So you can put the sleeve over and then go ahead and put him in the soft protector. And there is Harry in his sleeve, guys. I think that looks awesome. These sleeves add a lot to the figures. And I did do a video where we look at some pop sleeves and some different, um, some different uh, pop covers that, that Wayne brought in. So themed protectors, I should rather say. Uh, I'll leave a link to that video up here as well. You can go check it out. We did a visit to the Protectorverse and checked out some of the cool protectors he's bringing in. Before you go, guys, I have one more figure from Wayne that I would love to show off to you guys. It is a, a new Comic-Con exclusive and one that when I saw come out, I was like, oh, I've got to get it. But I could only see it being at the new Comic-Con booth. So I said to Wayne, Wayne, you know, can you hook me up? And he did not let me down. Wayne has never let me down on the pop front. We have here uh, from New York Comic Con, it is Pauly Pigeon. So he is a really, really cool pop. He's still got his plastic over his pop protector. So I'll quickly peel that off here. But this is a cool figure, guys. I absolutely love the mascots for the different cons. I wish we would get one for Comic Con Africa here. I think that would be so, so, so cool. I think it would be a really sort of the pop around the world um, if we could have a Comic-Con Africa exclusive that is only exclusive to Comic-Con uh, or to Comic-Con Africa rather I should say but there's a bit of plastic still but you can have a nice look at him there is Pauly Pigeon on the back he's got uh, the Freddy Funko logo there like spray painted on the wall 
and um, he's got the New York Comic Con uh, shared sticker there. Really cool figure. I did recently also get the Toucan from SDCC, so he's going to go absolutely amazingly with him. I love, love, love this Paulie Pigeon. I would love one day to be able to go and visit those cons overseas, to go to New York Comic Con or SDCC would be absolutely amazing um, and actually pick up one of these figures in person. But for now, I've got my New York Comic Con dressed up Paulie Pigeon, the red variant. There are a couple of variants of this Paulie Pigeon. This is, of course, the variant with him with the red bodysuit and the blue um, eye covering or blue mask, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I think he looks pretty great, guys. Really cute. I these are just such cute figures, these mascots. I think any Funko mascot that they've done or Whitmore Forest or any of those have been absolutely beautifully done figures. And uh, obviously would also love to visit the Funko store one day and pick up some of those, those figures. Last thing there guys, as you can actually see, these are Wayne's new protectors for uh, 2021. So these have got the Protectorverse vs logo on the back and then the logo here as well. Uh, I know some people were complaining because the old logo had the Protectorverse on the front. Didn't make a difference to me. To me, it always covered this bit where it says like warning and all the little um, disclaimers that they have on the front of the figures. So I always thought it covered that. But anyways, that is uh, these are the new protectors. They look great. These are 0.45 millimeter protectors. You can buy them from Wayne directly at Pop Protectorverse or on uh, Pop Shop Africa as well. You can get them there. And of course, if you do order anything from Pop Shop Africa that is in a four inch, uh, a four inch pop, it's going to come with a protector as well. So thank you, Wayne. Uh, thank you pop culture not that pop culture will probably ever watch this or or even knew that it was coming to me but guys i do have some other stuff coming from pop culture i placed my own order with them gave it a shot and i will soon be doing a video where i look at another mystery box we ordered the tony the tiger at icons mystery box so i'm very excited to unbox that and if you would like to see it please go ahead hit that like button hit the subscribe button as well so you can follow me here on what's popping and uh, we're going to be unboxing a ton of stuff coming up guys so as always i have stuff coming in we have reviews going on we have harry potter stuff that we're looking at at the moment there is just a ton of stuff making its way across the what's popping desk and i'm so excited to share it with all of you guys so we also have our 700 subscriber giveaway coming up if you would like to enter that i will leave a link to it up here once we had 700 subs we were giving away a black light doctor strange funko pop so cannot wait to do that cannot wait to reach that milestone with all of you guys out there in the what's popping community and the what's popping universe you guys are all absolutely amazing thank you for taking the time to watch this and i will see all of you guys in the next video